Young Paige Sullivan was born with a unique heart, causing her to need major heart surgery at age nine. She decided to embrace her cape and use her superhero powers to get through it all. Now she wants to share that cape with children everywhere. My name is Paige Sullivan and I'm nine years old. I love to dance, I like to play with my sister, I love to read. I have a big book collection in my room, maybe like a hundred books. <laughs> I like to go shopping for books and I ask my mom to go shopping for books a lot. I love to write and right now I'm writing a book called Embrace Your Cape. What a perfect day. The sky was robin's egg blue. When Paige there was born, um, around six months she got sick and we went to the hospital clouds. and they determined that she had warm, two right so coronary arteries and one of the, the one that was on top was like looped around the back of the heart and everything exactly to supply blood to the left side of the body. So it was determined then that she would have to have open heart surgery. We had to move from Charlotte to um, Chapel Hill because her cardiologist is at Duke. Uh, so that's been really hard on Paige. So it was a lot going on in the hospital and she was just scared. And when we went to pre-op, they gave me a whole three green binder to get me prepared, but nothing for her. She had that and she was a little more prepared, she wouldn't have been scared of some of the things that she was scared of, like CAT scans. She was freaking out until after the CAT scan, she was like, oh, you don't have to be scared of CAT scans. It's very hard as a little kid going through something as hard as this, but having family and having books, it can make it a little bit better. My book could be helpful to prepare kids for their hospital journey, for them to know to not be scared or what to be scared of while they're at the hospital. Some things you should be scared of are like, like if you don't like taking medicine, the medicine might be very disgusting. Um, they will have to give you needles and like IVs and you will have a lot of pain and you might not want to eat and stuff and that can make you have pain in your stomach, but they'll give you pain medicine to help. The doctors were like, you are superhero, so that was one of the things that got me thinking. I thought about what the kids are when they conquer their fears and when they go through this and I thought they're superheroes, and a superhero needs a superhero cape. You want to do the middle part with Kenley? Yes. Okay, can you grab her cape? Okay, wait, come here. First we gotta do a video, okay? Okay. I want my book to be put in hospital gift stores. And when you get the book, it also comes with the superhero cape. My website is called The Heart of Page, and it tells you what we're doing. Almost every day, I write a little bit more in the book. But we're thinking to hire people to do the drawings for it. It's so sweet, and I'm, I'm watching her when she's writing in her little book. This is something so positive, and I'm just, I was so surprised that, like, she's, where is this coming from, you know? But I'm thinking maybe she just had a lot of time to think. And she was just like, you know, I just don't want another kid to have to go through this uncertainty. So I'm really proud of her. You would not know right now that she's still on restrictions. Like she can't ride a bicycle. She can't do anything right now. But you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know at all. She's just happy.